All right, guys, Parker from Robotic Rampage. It's about 8.30 on March 15th. We're about to head to Robotics. We got Carson back from spring break, so we'll be taking him with us today. And we have helping out our coding team. We got Colin already up at the car waiting, and we'll see you at Burton. Hey, good morning, guys. This is Mayhar from Team 8094. Today is Saturday. It's currently almost 9 in the morning. I'm heading over to Burton Center for Arts and Technology to start our meeting today. We have a lot to do, a lot of things to get making, a lot of stuff to set up for summer camp. I'll catch you all there. This is a record. Mayhar is here at 9.25. Five minutes over. <laughs> <laughs> so, new gripper designs for hardware people, mm -hmm. more organization, um, plans for outreach. Yep. Um, we need to get also inventory. Yep. Specifically, let's add under inventory what things currently like motors. Um, we should be go uh, good on all the go build us stuff. So, today I'm going to give you guys a tour. Uh, where our robotics team meets for class. It's in the mechatronics classroom. So, you can so currently do note that we also do have the FRC team Scarab here as well. So this is where we usually just set up and work. Just we got these tables from our mechatronics class. We just meet here and have everything scattered around as you can see. And we just build our robots here, etc. If you walk down this way, this room is just known as our storage room. We keep a lot of our parts, the class parts at, uh, for mechatronics, but we just keep our storage for competitions, old competition parts, our summer camp stuff across this side, this side. Um, that's about it in here. It's nothing special. So if you come down here, on this side is where our robotics field is. And this is where mostly the coders hang around, do their coding, as you can see over here. This is our field. We have some old spare parts around here as well. We're just kind of tight on space. You can see Colin here doing his thing. You can call me. So this side we have our 3D printers. Uh, this is my favorite. Fastest, newest, latest. Still good, but we use these to print our gripper as we did this year. Any other parts, battery holders, etc. Uh, 3D printers along that side again. Uh, this side we have our laser. This is what we use to engrave stuff, as you saw what Jonathan has made with our um, organized thing for the. What do you call it? Driver station? Driver station, yes, Parker. Then these machines we don't use, that's all for the mechatronics classroom. But if you come down here. Speak up. We have mills here. I use this a lot to make holes and things, expand holes. That's my great, ex that's like what I'm really good at. We have lathes. I've used this maybe once on the team. Uh, we have John doing his thing down there. But then we have our, as I call it. This has only been used once so far, but it is a $40,000 pause mini mill. This thing will make anything and everything you can think of. I've used it once to make a part for the team. Otherwise, it's really not much in use. You can do a lot of things on an FTC team by hand. So if you walk down here, this is our closet, which we keep everything in. We have um, everything in boxes, somewhat organized, better than where before. Uh, everything has parts, old parts, new parts, motors, old stuff, old competitions. You have our robots, our organized uh, boxes of material, parts, etc. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna call this. All right, so it's about 9.50. Um, team plan for the day didn't really go exactly as planned because we have less people that showed up than we expected, but we're gonna kind of adapt. Um, so the coding team is in the back with Carson, like I said earlier, who's home on spring break, helping them learn code. Colin is also in there working on his demo bot. John's in the shop working on finishing up our driver's station tray. And uh, you want to talk about what, what we're going to do today? So 
currently what our plan is we have these older game elements we have here so each year so far we've learned that we end up using some sort of gripper so we want to come up with a prototype for each one of these things like certain size balls like here like a and duck then blocks but also block. like oblong and odd shapes like a duck so we're just going to create a gripper for each one of these things so we know can we make it first what challenges will we face while making this so when we uh comes to our new competition this coming fall we'll know um what the challenges were during the summer and we'll be ready to face those whatever gets thrown our way and it's also going to give um our newer hardware folks who only really have one qualifier under their belt uh, a chance to get in there and do some CAD or do some work to design intakes. And then uh, in addition to just learning that how to do that, you know, if next year we involve using blocks or whatever, then we'll already have a gripper for that. But more importantly is um, getting some of our hardware folks experience into doing this so that we're more prepared for next year. Sanding. Sanding what? Uh, this ridge. Organize it to pick off the glue on the edge. Uh, we are writing quad base module. Writing quad base code, super cool. All right, so we've got our ex our Google Sheet here where on the left side we've got all of our team members and then across the top we're gonna have meeting dates. So we can kind of organize uh, like what everyone's doing each meeting. Um, but hopefully uh, we might also put uh, you know, notes about the team meeting and the end of and the end of the day meetings and all of that stuff, and we'll see how it goes. So I think that running this bot at midnight may have tilted some bolts out because there's currently one bolt holding this to the white piece. So we've got to put some more bolts and nuts in there to hold it on so they can do some autonomous testing. Okay, so we're gonna they're gonna be running some autonomous in a minute like putting stuff or samples in the basket so we're gonna put we just put a little gopro mount right here we're gonna put the gopro in there shout out to mr coverly at masscom here at burton for letting us borrow the gopro so we're gonna slide it in there and that's pretty sturdy and we'll leave it there we also have a little clamp mount and then we might put it up here or actually on the basket but we'll show you guys shots right Mayhar, we're currently, it's 11 o'clock, we're heading out to get pizza for everyone on the team. We're all kind of hungry right now, and then we should be getting back to work. Look at that, six pizzas to Trust feed Not an well. FTC team and an FRC team. I'm working on uh, attaching a linear actuator to our demo bot, which is going to be used for outreach. Attaching this linear actuator here, converting to uh, the rev channel, so I can attach it to these rev channels. So we just decided that we're gonna end at like 12.30 today and then have a team brainstorming session to work on some summer camp stuff at the end. So we gotta really tell the guys that. What about kites? More like the claw bot, you have to, you could create something where you gotta like pick up a little Coke can. So for the, for the ocean theme, you could have a little bit. Because I don't think you look more for it. You just have something that's like easy. 